Ever wondered why you and your partner seem to be on different pages when it comes to sexual desire? Welcome to the world of mismatched libidos, a common issue many couples face. Various factors can cause libido differences, from stress and health issues, to hormonal changes. It's a complex, multifaceted issue that's as unique as the individuals experiencing it. Remember, it's normal to have different levels of sexual desire, and it doesn't necessarily mean there's a problem in your relationship. Understanding why these differences occur can be the first step toward finding a solution. Libido, or sexual desire, is influenced by a mix of biological, psychological, and social factors. It's not just about hormones or physical attraction, but also emotional well-being, stress levels, and societal expectations. Biologically, fluctuations in hormones can affect libido. Illness, medication, or changes in health can also play a part. Psychologically, stress, anxiety, or unresolved emotional issues can dampen desire. Social factors like work pressure or relationship dynamics can further influence our sexual appetite. Yet it's important to remember that everyone's libido is unique, and it's perfectly normal for it to ebb and flow over time. Understanding this can help couples navigate through mismatched libidos. Open communication is key. Talk about your needs, your desires, your worries. Be patient and empathetic with one another. Understanding each other's perspective can help reduce feelings of rejection or pressure. It's about fostering a deeper connection, not just in the bedroom, but in every aspect of your relationship. Now, let's dive into some strategies that can help manage mismatched libidos. First, consider scheduling sex. It may sound unromantic, but in reality scheduling can build anticipation and eliminate the pressure of spontaneous initiation. It's like setting a date night, but for intimacy. And who said anticipation isn't sexy? Second, find a middle ground. This isn't about one partner always bending to the other's desires. It's about finding a frequency that both partners can be content with. This may require some negotiation, some give and take. The key is to approach these discussions with empathy and understanding, rather than frustration or blame. If you're finding it hard to navigate these waters on your own, don't hesitate to seek professional help. Sex therapists and counselors are trained to help couples navigate these issues in a respectful and productive manner. They can provide tools and techniques that are tailored to your unique situation. Another strategy is to explore other forms of intimacy. Remember, intimacy isn't solely about sexual activity. It can be about emotional connection, physical closeness, or shared experiences. Maybe it's cuddling on the couch, holding hands during a walk, or cooking a meal together. These moments of connection can foster a sense of intimacy and closeness that extends beyond the bedroom. Lastly, it's important to have patience and mutual respect. It's okay if progress is slow. It's okay if there are setbacks. What's important is that both partners feel heard, respected, and valued throughout the process. This isn't about fixing one partner's libido. It's about creating a sexual relationship that both partners feel good about. In all of this, communication is key. Honest, open conversations about what you're feeling, what you need, and what you're comfortable with can bridge the gap of misunderstanding and foster a stronger bond between you. Remember, the goal is not to have identical libidos but to find a compromise that satisfies both partners. Let's quickly revisit the key points we've discussed today. We started by defining what mismatched libidos are, shedding light on the fact that it's perfectly normal for partners to experience different levels of sexual desire. It's important to remember that these discrepancies can stem from various factors, including stress, aging, health conditions, and even certain medications. We then delved into the crucial role of communication in navigating these challenges. Open, honest conversations about your feelings and needs can pave the way for understanding and empathy. It's essential that these discussions are approached with sensitivity and respect, keeping judgment and blame out of the picture. We also explored some practical strategies for managing differences in sexual desire. These include scheduling intimate time, exploring non-sexual forms of affection, seeking professional help if needed, and most importantly, being patient with each other. It's crucial to remember that there's no one-size-fits-all solution. What works for one couple might not work for another. It's about trial and error, flexibility, and a willingness to compromise. Mismatched libidos can be a challenge, but with understanding, communication, and compromise, it's a hurdle many couples can overcome. Remember, it's all about finding a balance that works for both of you.